lifestyle. Learn about the benefits and start now. Eating from the vine and feeling divine. Fruit living with nature's design. This is a public service announcement to let you know that smoothies are in fact a whole food. If you take a watermelon and you cut it in half, is it still a whole food? Yeah, it's still a whole food. You haven't removed any water, you haven't removed any nutrients. Yeah, some of the nutrients obviously have been oxidized when you cut it open, but you're not removing any fiber, you're not removing any water, it's still the whole food. Now, when you take a spoon and you dig into the watermelon and you take out a scoop of the watermelon and you eat that scoop, was, is that scoop a whole food? Yeah, it's still a whole food. Even though you've detached it, even though you've, re you've refined it, you've processed it, you've processed the watermelon by taking a spoon and scooping it and eating it, it's, the watermelon is still a whole food. You're still eating a whole food meal by taking a scoop out of water watermelon. Now, when you put that watermelon, you take a whole bunch of scoops and put all the scoops into a bowl and you take your hand and you mash the, the bowl, uh, all the watermelon in the bowl together so it makes like a little soup. Are you then consuming a whole food by consuming that mashed up watermelon? Yeah, you are. And funny story, I was going on an airplane and I had watermelons cut up into a, a, a Tupperware box and they were all cut up into cubes and it was okay, I could bring it onto the, onto the plane, no problem. And I had another bowl that was, the watermelons weren't cut up anymore, they were like all mashed together in like this like liquid form and I wasn't allowed to bring that liquid form onto the plane because it was, it was liquid. So it's like one was just more refined than the other. More refined being more mashed together. But anyways, it's still whole food. It's still whole food. So. What I'm getting to is now when you take that watermelon and put it into a blender and instead of mashing it up with your hands or mashing it up with a spoon or a fork or knife, you get the blender to do that for you and then you drink that. Is it still a whole food? Yes, of course it is. You haven't removed any fiber, you haven't removed any water, you haven't, you haven't taken anything away from it. Yeah, you've taken the peel away of course, but not many people eat the watermelon peel. Yeah, it's still a whole food. I don't know, people commenting on my, on my uh, latest video saying how smoothies are not whole foods and yet they didn't give any reason why. I'm not sure why, why people think smoothies are not whole foods. Of course they are. When you add juice to the smoothie, is the smoothie now a whole food? No, it's not because you've added juice. And juice, unless it's like coconut water or something, uh, juice is not a whole food. Juice is not a whole food because you've removed the fiber from the juice. Um, now, I'm not saying that's bad. I'm not saying that's bad. I consume apple juice often. I consume uh, grape juice if I haven't consumed grape juice in a while, but I, I would consume grape juice. Uh, I like juice, I like orange juice, orange juice. Uh, orange juice is, is a funny one because orange juice really in nature would be found. You, t you cut an orange in half, you don't need to eat the, 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 um, the fiber, you just bite into the orange and start sucking on it and you drink whatever you want and throw the rest out. Uh, that's quite normal. So orange juice, I think in nature, yeah, you'd, you'd find orange juice in nature. You just cut the orange in half and suck it and throw the rest away. Orange juice. Uh, whether you want some pulp or not, sure, that's fine, no problem. Yeah, not, not saying juice is bad. Definitely not saying smoothies are bad. Uh, but smoothies are a whole food. Juices are not a whole food. I think maybe people people mix those two up. Mix the two up. They think of smoothies as juices and juices as smoothies, whatever. But they're completely different. Smoothies have fiber. Juice does not have fiber. Typically, it can have pulp or whatever. But smoothies are a whole food. So uh, if you're wondering what to eat on a whole food diet, maybe you want to eat some smoothies. No problem. And other people say you, you're not going to find juice in nature, you're not going to find juice in nature. Well, coconut water, that is in nature, you're definitely going to find that. Uh, orange juice, yeah, you cut an orange in half again, you suck with the juice, there's your juice, you throw out the, the pulp. You don't need to eat the pulp in nature. Um, that's, that's totally optional. But yeah, juice does exist in nature. And mother's breast milk, man, come on, mother's breast milk. Mother's breast milk, by the way, is about... Um, six to seven percent protein and a little bit of fat and mostly carbohydrates it's very very sweet which sets us up nicely for the fruit that we're about to eat afterwards so fruit very closely mimics the um the carbohydrate fat protein ratio so if you're breastfeeding and your child and you're not around or whatever and your child needs calories well fruit obviously is, is the go-to source for, for calories, but that's another video for another time. I wanted to make a public service announcement to let you guys know that smoothies are a whole food. You're not removing any fiber, you're not removing any water, all you're doing is mashing it together. Whether you do that in a blender, whether you do that in a bowl, or with your hand, or in your mouth, there's no difference. Now having said that, when you do consume smoothies, ideally when you sip them in your mouth, swish them around for a bit, try and activate, uh, release some enzymes in there as well, don't just like swig them back. Uh, drink your smoothies a bit slower than you would normally. Uh, because, yeah, when you bite into a banana, you have to chew it around for a bit before you swallow it. And with a smoothie, it's a lot easier to bypass that and just suck it back. And, oh, quickly, I get asked this a lot. Do I ever consume smoothies? Very seldom, very seldom. I've consumed, like, three, two or three smoothies in the past 
two or three months. Like I never, never do it. Very, very, very seldom. I hardly get any of my calories throughout the year from smoothies. But yeah, back in Canada, I was consuming some smoothies. I just blend up some bananas, some dates, maybe some berries, and um, easy as that. But a smoothie is necessary. Is a blender necessary in a fruitarian diet? No way. Definitely not if you're in Thailand. You just eat your fruit whole. Very, very easy on its own. Uh, you don't need to process it too much. So, fruitarianism for the win. Peace. So here we have a salad, pretty basic. Add on the best sauce ever, and it's your dinner. Bingo.